I'm Doug with America's Best Restaurants, and we travel the country from coast to coast, north, south, east, west, even points in between to find restaurants that you should dine at on a weekly basis. We're in Columbus, Ohio, the state capital of the great state of Ohio. We are at Thurman's. It's a legendary stop here in Columbus. This is Erin with Thurman's. So what is Thurman's all about? Someone just said it to me yesterday. She was at a popular place shopping downtown and she said, you know, where should we go eat? And all these people chimed in. You have to go to Thurman's. Uh, you know, we're a neighborhood bar, restaurant. Been here for near 80 years and uh, just really great food, big portions. Everything's really tasty. When you say big portions, he's not kidding. Wait till you see the three items that we're going to profile. What are we gonna go in inside and see? We've got the Therminator, uh, which gained fame uh, when we were on that Man vs. Food national show where they eat the big meals. Uh, it was inspired by uh, bodybuilders that, that wanted a bigger version of another one we're talking about, our Thurman Burger, one okay. we've had on the menu for 40, 50 years, uh, loaded up with ham and mushrooms and four slices of cheese and all sorts of grilled onions and all sorts of other good stuff. And uh, also the Western Burger, it's our most popular. Uh, we've been doing it for a long time. Barbecue, cheddar, our bacon we get from uh, Falters uh, down the street here who's been around longer than us. And uh, yeah, it's it all comes together good. Our fries are big thick cut fries that we make and uh, yeah, everything's really tasty. All right, he's got my attention. I know he has yours. You come with us, let's go inside and check out Thurman's. We're back, we're inside. Aaron said three items. Well, lo and behold, here we go. And let me just say, wow, holy cow. We have done this, we've shot hundreds of episodes. I've traveled, I've seen a lot of burgers, but dude, I haven't seen burgers like this. We call it the wow factor. And when we bring it to the table, often people go, wow. <laughs> or they go, holy cow. <laughs> or they might say something else that we can't say. <laughs> we can't say. <laughs> okay, well, let's start. We're gonna go here first. Burger number one, what are we looking at? This is the Western burger, like I was saying, our most popular one, uh, served with the fries that we make. You know, just simple uh, on the bottom bun, lettuce, tomato, onion, but we've got our nice barbecue sauce uh, melted under the cheese and our uh, Falter's bacon. Uh, yeah, and it, all the flavors come together really well on that one. It's a, it's a good combo for sure. Uh, people love barbecue. Now, how, how big is the patty? Just a regular they're, little patty. They're 12 ounces before cooking, so it's like a three quarter pound burger. Um, yeah, that'd be like a, tri a triple quarter pounder, you know, something like that. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Um, but, but you know, the, the way we kind of sear it, uh, the, the flavor and the juices really stay in there pretty well. We don't mess with it very much when we cook it. We just cook it. Yeah. And uh, that, that helps kind of keep it from drying out because big, big ball of meat like that, you can easily dry out. So we, we make sure we don't do that. You know, it's, it's always juicy here. And then talk about the fries again. I know there's a process to these gigantic fries. Oh, absolutely, fries. yeah. It's a bit of a painstaking process now that I think about it. Uh, you you uh, you slice the fries with a hand slicer thingy, and then you soak them uh, in water overnight, uh, preferably, and then you you cook them off, a par cook in the morning, and then uh, then they're ready. You got to cool them down again, and then they're ready to you know be cooked to order. Uh, and that way, they don't take that long, you know, because if you're just cooking them straight from raw, they can be a little starchy or they come out, you know, kind of not cooked all the way. You have to cook yeah. them for a really long time. Those are good. Mm -hmm. And for such thick fries, there's that, I mean. Well, yeah, and you know, a lot of people may have a preference. They prefer a thinner fry, but I always say, give ours a shot. Uh, it could be a little bit of a baked potato in a fry, somebody said once, but uh, <laughs> they, if, if you're a dipper, they're great for dipping. I mean, you, you could go through a ketchup and five French fries. <laughs> no, get everything big. Okay, we're gonna save that one for last. Item number two. The Thurman Burger, kind of the original thing that uh, put us on the map. Um, <laughs> Burger wise, you know, it's our namesake and it's just, it looks nice and sloppy and delicious. 
you see our, our grilled onions draped off the side and the way the four slices of cheese melt, the ham and the mushrooms add some height to it. And then we, we're sure to put plenty of the other good veggies down on the bottom there, you know, always two tomato slices and things like that. Now, I can't just stare at it. I have to oh, How do you taste. get your mouth around well, this you're, 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 I say I leave, a big it, mouth. leave a pick in as long as you can. Just don't bite into it. It helps it from falling out the backside. Yeah. Mm. I couldn't even get the top of the bun. It, it, it's an art, it's a skill, it takes time. Uh, if, yeah, if you haven't been here before, you're, you're doing okay so far, actually. Okay, so what you're saying is I need a second bite to get it right. To get it right, oh, yeah. yes. You can make up, yes, there it is. <laughs> mm. So, and I, I heard somebody say it yesterday, you know, oh. it's not just a big pile of meat, it's tasty and flavorful. Oh, that is good. You're what glad you, said, you have that much. What you said, when you, the burger is that big, it's really easy to, to screw it up. That is good. Mm -hmm. And now this started because, well, so basically then, this, this is the big boy which started because of the whip body so overs. People, people were coming in, we have the Arnold Sports and Fitness Expo or whatever they call it, classic uh, bodybuilding competition each year around May or, or March or April. And um, these big bodybuilders would come in and they'd win their competitions and they'd say, I haven't had a burger and fries in, a, in weeks, mm. uh, but I I need lots of protein. So give me that Thurman burger you have, but put another patty on it and put cheddar on that and put bacon on that and serve it with fries because I haven't had fries in two months. And we didn't create it out of uh, out of gluttonous efforts. It was by request, by, uh, on demand for someone in need of the protein. How, I mean, I can't even get my mouth around. This is just a regular old burger and I cannot bite the whole thing. And again, according to my wife, I've got a very big mouth. How do you eat this? Well, thing? some people kind of eat the top half and the bottom half. Some people, you know, keep the pick in and, and, knife, and fork and knife at it. Uh, so we, we've had some basketball players come in, uh, some, some large people <laughs> and uh, their hands are so big, it, it, made, it put it to shame. They, they were eating it like a regular burger. It was the only time I ever felt like, gee, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's it was kind of crazy, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, so otherwise though, for regular folks with regular size hands and mouths, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a feat, but uh, you'd be surprised how many people clean their plate. Uh, that's, that's shocking. I'd say like one in five that give it a shot clean it. No kidding. And cleans where nothing's dripping but juice when you tilt it. So, God bless them. <laughs> Holy cow. So these are just three of the burgers and obviously the fries. You guys have a full menu. This is a place that if you live in the Columbus area, you need to be at on a weekly basis. And if you're visiting Columbus, again, there's so many different things going on. You need to put Thurman's on your must do and come check this place out. So how can people find you? Well, uh, the thermacafe.com, type it into Google. Just type in Columbus Burger into Google. You'll find us at the top. Uh, but you know, what's good about from people from out of town is we have a reputation for being busy. You know, of course it's 6.30 on Friday night, we're busy, but people coming from out of town, doing some day shopping, coming in on a weekday afternoon, you can usually get right in. So don't be intimidated by the way. You can always call ahead and see how busy we are. Um, yeah, we're we're on Facebook and stuff, but really the the, the fans have uh, given us so much exposure uh, on our Google Analytics thing that they show you like views of things. We're in the uh, one thousandth top percentile of small business photo views. We have become a viral sensation. We got like four million photo views, like a quarter or something. I, I was just totally shocked when I saw it. I was like, is this a mistake? And I went on. If you want to get an idea of Thurman, just look at all the photos people have posted. Just go to the images. Yeah, it's it's nuts. So honestly, we haven't like done a lot of that because <laughs> the people have done it for us. So we're yeah, we're Beautiful. not a we didn't dis we didn't contrive to uh, to be a sensation. We just made good burgers and made them big so you could enjoy lots of them. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start working on this one again too. So they also have a full listing though right here on AmericasBestRestaurant.com. Click the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and you can find out more as well. So I think I'm gonna dive in. I think grab a burger, break some bread. Holy cow! If you're coming to Columbus, come check out Thurman's. 
I have some friends who went to Ohio State and they told me about this place. Spot on. So thank you guys. All right, that's it. We're going to eat some more food. We're out.